Linda, you're removed from it for a little bit now, but what was it like just getting a chance to, to be out there on the floor in those playing games? Uh, it was exciting. Um, you know, there was a lot of intensity, a lot of adrenaline going. Um, but I thought the team did great uh, just fighting through adversity. It, it, there's a lot of growth that you guys have made this season, and for you personally, obviously, getting a, a full-time deal. Just what has the season been like overall from, from your perspective? Uh, a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity. Uh, I'm grateful for every chance I get to step on that court uh, and every, every chance to put on that jersey. Um, and just looking forward to putting in the work for this summer. Have you stopped to think that you've like completed the blackout on the <coughs> Oklahoma basketball bingo card? Like high school, OSU, Outlaws, Blue, Two Way, Thunder. I mean, like you've done all of it. Like you're, you're the only person that's ever done that. Like, have you ever stopped to think about that? Uh, not really. Um, I, it's a great accomplishment, um, and it, it shows a lot of Oklahoma kids that it can be done. Uh, but my mentality is just to keep going and see how far I can take it. The time it needed, just how much did you learn for your time there? Um, I learned how to just be resilient. Uh, there was a lot of adversity out there. Um, a, lot of, a lot of times where I could have just said, that's enough, and hung it up. Um, but I'm grateful for all of it. I'm grateful for all the experiences out there, um, all the people that helped me through uh, all those tough times. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll be out there and eat it March 25th. I uh, have a little ceremony, so get to celebrate a little bit. What about Coach Corporal? I mean, how, how big was he for, you know, he mentioned people to help you out, just how much did he help you? Uh, he helped me a lot. Uh, more so just, you know, becoming a, a young man. Um, not even so much on the basketball court. Um, I think we had a great group of guys for that year, so I was lucky to be around uh, with them. But Coach Corporal, we still talk from time to time. Um, and yeah, he's a big part of the success. You were getting ready to go out to Spain, right? Like you had already signed thing, and just how did, what was it like when Thunder came calling you out that opportunity? Uh, it was a no-brainer when the Thunder called. Um, signed with Spain. A week later, I got the call. Um, you know, and any chance you get to play for your hometown team, yeah, you drop everything and you go. What's it been like to play for Mark? Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, he's a great coach. Uh, he's an even, even better human being. Um, he's also taught me a lot about things outside of basketball um, as well as on the basketball court. Um, but yeah, I come to him for advice or just if I want to talk or we read books and we talk about those. Um, so yeah, he's, he's great. What have you read recently? Um, I read the David Goggins book, Can't Hurt Me. Um, that one was, was big. Um, he's, a, he's a tough guy, tough dude. Uh, someone to definitely look up to. You got to play for Cam as well in his first year as a head coach. What was that like, and what did you see from Cam in, in, that, in that environment? Um, you know, Cam is a great guy as well. Uh, you know, everybody in this organization, they're just they're down-to-earth people, uh, just like every Oklahoman. And uh, I saw a lot of growth from him, and he, he helped me grow a lot, um, you know, going back and forth from the blue to the thunder. Uh, you know, he, he was there every step of the way. It seemed like you ran things just on the court, off the court, a lot like Mark does. Did that help you stay prepared and stay ready for eventually getting back in the Thunder rotation and playing last night in the play-in? Yeah, and that's something the, the Blue really hang their hat on, uh, is just you know stay the same throughout the whole organization, um, have the same system, the same beliefs, um, the same determination uh, every single day. And so whenever you go up or down, it stays the exact same. Last couple of days on Facebook has been a thing about who's the best high school basketball player in Oklahoma. Uh, your name was brought up a couple of times. I mean, who, who are some of the guys that you remember watching while you were in middle school, high school? Um, 
I watched Terrence Boyd. I watched Xavier Henry, Blake Griffin. Um, Shake Milton. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's some more that I can't think of off the top of my head, but those are some some good players. What do you think about your name being mentioned with, the, with one some of the best basketball players in the state? Uh, you know, it's it's great to be recognized. Um, uh, yeah, it's just great to be recognized. Uh, who would you say? Is the like best high school basketball player to ever come out of Oklahoma? Not not success wise, but just what they did in high school. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure. There's a lot of names out there. I can't I can't put my name or can't put one name on it. Most definitely. Then um, talent gap wise, um, I don't know. I uh, forgot what the name of the league is that um, Enid is in. TBO. Yeah, yep. so between that league, the G League, and the NBA, can you kind of talk about the talent gap between those three leagues? Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like that at all levels of um, any workspace, no matter where you're at. Um, it's just like going from like middle school, high school to college to professional. Um, it's just always one step ahead of everything else. Where do you feel like you grew the most this season, just as a, on the floor as a player? Uh, I think mentally, uh, just coming out and being able to compete every single day, uh, no matter what the circumstances are, um, whether we're winning, losing, uh, whether you know the body feels 100% healthy, if I'm out there just mentally being prepared to give everything I got. And heading into the off season, what's kind of the, the, the biggest focus for you? Uh, my conditioning. Um, I want to come back in world-class shape. Um, yeah, this is probably the biggest summer for me in the, that sense. What was it like being Shea's teammate this year and just kind of watching him you know, ascend to all-star? Uh, he made it easy for us. Uh, as a teammate, he's a he's a great guy, uh, great locker room dude. He competes um, and he never complains. Um, he's never negative, and I think that rubs off on everybody else. Uh, we come in ready to work. We watch him come in work every single day, um, so he kind of leads by example for us. Uh, being from Oklahoma, I know it. You know. I don't know if you grew up a Thunder fan or not, but I know it hits a little bit different uh, for you to play for um, your hometown team. How does it feel to be um, a pretty important part of a team that's kind of revitalized the franchise that you you know grew up watching? Yeah, I remember when OKC first moved, or I got the news that they were coming, and I was I was extremely excited because I had watched uh, the Hornets when they were here for a small amount of time. And uh, just having that team in the city, just it brought a lot of energy, uh, brought a lot of growth. And whenever the Thunder came and they had that long playoff run, uh, definitely, you know, had my dreams of being able to play in the NBA, um, let alone being able to play for my hometown team. Uh, you know, I couldn't have scripted it any better. What's your message to young players in the state who want to get to where you're at right now? Uh, don't look too far ahead. You know, stick to working every single day. Um, and you know, not everybody's path and journey is the exact same. Uh, so just dedicate yourself to being the best version of yourself. What did it mean to you to get rewarded with, you know, not being on the two-way contract anymore, you know, having a, a full NBA contract? Um, you know, it was a big day for my family. Uh, they were really proud of me. I was proud of myself for putting the work in and staying resilient, staying strong. Um, but it also kind of revitalized me to um, just keep working harder.